Novak Djokovic versus Grigor Dimitrov is the final of the Paris Masters for 2023, and both guys have battled to get to the final. Dimitrov started the tournament off unseeded and would take on Musetti in the first round, and after dropping the second set, would fight back to win 6-2, 6-7, 6-3. In the second round, he'd take on the number three seed Medvedev, who he'd had a battle with the previous week in Vienna, and this was no different, with Dimitrov losing the second set and having to fight in the third, getting through in three, 6-3, 6-7, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on Bublik, and this is by far the easiest match of the week. Getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-2. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on the 11th seed, Hercatch, who was trying to get to the ATP finals and needed a win. And after a hot start, Dimitrov would eventually win in three, 6-1, 4-6, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Dimitrov would take on the number seven seed, Tsitsipas, who'd made the Paris finals 12 months earlier, losing to Djokovic. And after winning the first set, Dimitrov would fight back in the third, getting through in three, 6-3, 6-7, 7-6, to make his second Masters 1000 final. Djokovic entered the tournament tournament as the number one seed, and we'll get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Echeverri. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Grigspor, who'd been having a pretty good week. And after dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win 4-6, 7-6, 6-4 to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number six seed, Runa, who was the defending champion, having beaten Djokovic 12 months ago in the final here. And after dropping the second set, Djokovic would fight back to win 7-5, 6-7, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Djokovic would take on Rublev, the number five seed, who had been in very good form in recent months. And after dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back again, 5-7, 7-6, 7-5, to make it to another Paris final. These two have played 12 times before, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 11-1, with Dimitrov's only win coming in 2013 in Madrid on the clay. However, they have played twice this year, and Dimitrov has been competitive, even though Djokovic has won both of those matches. If Dimitrov is going to win this one. He needs to be aggressive with that backhand down the line and come to the net like he has been against all the guys so far. I think the times that he's played Djokovic earlier in the season, he was a little bit more passive. These last couple of months, he's been super aggressive, which has allowed him to beat guys like Elkaraz, Medvedev, and Tsitsipas this week. So let's see if he can actually be aggressive against Djokovic, who has the best defense going around. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a better start because, again, the fatigue seems to be some sort of a problem in that first 30 minutes to an hour. So he needs to be much, much better at the start of the match and get that first set if possible. This is such a good final, you know? Two guys over 30 years old, probably one of the oldest finals we've had this year. You've got to go with Djokovic to win his seventh title here. It's so hard to pick against Djokovic at the best of times, but when he's got an 11-1 record against somebody, I mean, it's hard not to pick him again to beat Dimitrov. I reckon it's going to be a close straight set, so let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?